If you need to scrape real estate data for sales or rentals, I'm going to show you how to scrape the Compass Real Estate API for thousands of property details in any market, complete with pricing, taxes, land values, time on market, MLS identifiers, and much more. To get started, head to compass.com and you can search for markets for rentals or sales and just type in any area you want to scrape the listings of. I'm gonna start in Miami, but we're gonna work our way all throughout southeastern Florida. So by default, it's gonna bound the listings to Miami, but if you click clear map boundary, it will end up getting listings all over the place. So you can scroll the map wherever you want. Apply any filters you'd like, such as price, I want anything under a million. And they have all these advanced filters here you may find super useful if you're looking for property to invest in or buy as an Airbnb. You may want to apply some of these filters to help narrow down your search and the market data you'd like to analyze. Once you're happy with the applied filters and the results you see on the screen, we're ready to start scraping data. To capture all of this data here, we're gonna right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools, which will automatically begin recording our network traffic. Click the network tab and fetch XHR if you're curious to see what's going on under the hood. Now move the map just a little bit to force the Compass API to send new data to your browser, which uses a very interesting URL pattern. They inject the filters into the URL path, which is a very silly design in my opinion, at least for an API. Anyway, in the results, look for LOL results. I'm not sure why they called it that. And you'll see JSON for all of these listings they show in the search results. And they show you the full details in this payload, like including a ton of unnecessary data that you'd never expect to see in the search results. So these are literally all the details you'd find on the listings detailed page laid out for you here in plain JSON, available to scrape thousands of these at a time. So scrape this data while you can before they probably patch this bug, as I'm sure it's costing them a lot of unneeded bandwidth from their API. They even show really valuable data, such as estimated taxes, HOA fees, land valuation, assessment dates. So this is really valuable data that's extremely easy to scrape, as I'm going to show you in the next step. So that network request had 41 results in it. I don't know why they picked 41. Now to get another page, you can scroll all the way down and then click this next arrow and it'll load the second page of results and you'll see it load up in your browser here. Now the URL is called start equals 41. So this is a good way to scrape the data if we're only interested in the 1700 results shown in the current map viewport. But it's kind of annoying to have to click through all those pages. So another fun way I like scraping is to just use the map and then zoom in to the specific neighborhoods and streets you want to scrape the data from. So here I'm interested in Brickell and South Miami Beach, a little bit of downtown Miami, and I'm gonna scroll up and get the rest of Southeast Florida. Now this is not gonna be a deep crawl, it's only gonna give me the top 41 results per map viewport or so, but if you just want a general market overview, this is a very fast way to get a lot of data. To get the data out of the browser, I click the down arrow under the network tab called export har and save a har file to my computer. Now to get the data out of the har file, which I legally collected by complying with the Compass Terms of Service as I used their website, I drag and drop the har file to the link in the description, which will work with any har file, not just from Compass. This auto magically groups together all of the similar network requests containing the search results data as I browse through the map. See, it starts here with homes for sale. This will look a little bit different depending on what filters you use. But I can see all of the 34 requests I made as I scroll through the map are here. If you have trouble identifying this group, check out the fields block, and you should see fields like compass property ID, neighborhoods, city, state, etc. And if you scroll down under the request section, you can click these blue links here and download the raw JSON payloads we saw in the browser to your downloads folder absolutely free. So if you're technical, you can write your own code to go through all this data and work with it as you please. But if you just want a CSV file of all this data combined together, we can help you with that with our freemium service. Click parse group here and you can download up to 10 rows of data absolutely free per day. So Compass sends back so much information it caused the HARF scraper to just act in conservative mode. This collapses everything to keep your browser from crashing. If you see that, just click on root and then look here for LOL results data. And we can see I have about 1400 results it picked up as I scrolled around the map in Florida. And I just click download CSV and I now have a CSV file of all these results in Excel. Now, because I use the map to pan around, I likely have duplicates here. So I wanna use some of these ID columns to deduplicate. I'll show that at the end of the video, but I suggest using this feed listing ID to deduplicate when you scroll through the map. If you don't wanna do this, I'll also explain how to avoid duplicates at the end of the video. So you can see Compass sends back a lot of internal data like parcel number, external ID, I'm pretty sure this is MLS ID. To look up the property on Compass, just copy this page link field 
and then paste it in after compass.com and you can see all the details so you can confirm what all these fields mean. So I can verify that is indeed the MLS number. And if you scroll down, you can contact these agents if you wanna purchase this property. You of course get the exact street address and they separate out the number, street and everything else for you, which is pretty nice. Zip code, individual cities and neighborhoods as we span through a lot of different regions here, this is helpful. You also get exact coordinates if you wanna plug these into walk score or some other real estate valuation software. You also get this county FIPS code. I guess that means whatever county it's in. And then another set of neighborhoods coming from MLS. This is the first value in that array. And some more standard fields like number of bedrooms, number of full bathrooms, number of half bathrooms, number of total bathrooms, and then the size of the bathrooms when you combine the full and the half. I mean, they really do a good job outlining all this. Square footage, price, this monthly sales charge, in this case, that's the HOA fee I verified with the listing URL. And they even add estimated taxes on top of that, so you can estimate your total monthly charges. Other good fields for market research are the timestamp of when it was listed. Here's the days on the market, because this was just listed today. And the last date it was updated. We can also see when the price was last updated. Number of units in the building, the year the building was built, URL to the building, so you can find other units, doorman, concierge, what's available in terms of luxury. Here are codes for like their pet policy, number of parking spaces you get. And there's so many other fields and collections in here, like amenities, list of photos. There's so much data. I just encourage you to try this for yourself with the link in the description. So about duplicates, because I use the map, I have some overlapping listings here. So in this column listing ID in Excel, I can deduplicate it. So I just make sure I have that column selected and I run deduplication and it found 947 duplicates, meaning I really only got 411 unique values. So to avoid this problem, you want to scroll through each of these results individually. So pull up a search result like this, which is 3908 homes, then scroll down while you're recording your web traffic and hit this next arrow and just keep on doing this over and over again. This will force Compass to keep loading all these results into your browser. And you'll be guaranteed to get all of them and they won't be duplicated because we're not scrolling around the map and we won't get any overlaps. So this is better if you need to do a more comprehensive crawl throughout a specific market. So hope you guys found this useful. Please take advantage of this before Compass fixes that bug. I'm pretty sure they don't mean to expose all of those details in those network payloads. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or if there are other sites you'd like me to show you how to scrape. Like and subscribe for more, and why not check out this next video here on how to scrape Zillow for similar listings.